Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a video where I basically shot my closet and put together some outfits inspired by ones that I had saved on Instagram. Um, I follow a lot of women whose style I really admire over on that platform. Maybe in the description box I can link some of my favorites that I find myself often saving photos from um, because I really just wanted to limit this to three so it's a bit more of a short and snappy video. I have done things like this before so I will pop one up in the cards if you would like to see the last one that I filmed. Um, so I might just dive right into it. I'll put the outfit on. I I will have a really nice cutaway so you can see it in full and I'll just talk through the details and elements of each outfit that I like and any sort of small style changes that I've had to make so I can make it work with the items I already own in my own closet and um, before I do that maybe I can show you what I'm wearing today because when I was going through the photos that I wanted to replicate for this video I realized that this outfit is very similar to one that I had saved on my phone already. Sorry, I just kicked the camera, but um, I thought I would show you what I do on my phone. So I have a folder called Outfit Ideas and I like to refer back to it when I'm feeling stuck. So screenshots of outfits that I like on Instagram, things I've saved down from Pinterest, and that's something that I will quickly flick through in the morning if I don't know what I want to wear and I just need to feel a little bit inspired. And I do just want to apologize in advance for the funny lighting. It's very cloudy today. Um, so this outfit, I believe her name is Philippa. I'm going to put the photo on screen so you can see. Uh, but she's wearing this exact same knit. It's from H&M and I do have it in both colors. I'm wearing it with my leggings these are commando and they are fabulous um, i do think that the neoprene ones are better just because they don't pick up as much fluff and then on my feet i am wearing my favorite little ballerina pumps which are from about ariane i'm not going to bother changing my uh, jewelry for this video so i do just have on my favorite little matilde earrings from linya and then i also have on this chain necklace from majuri and I have those linked below too. So I'm gonna quickly get changed into my first outfit and talk you through the look. Okay, so outfit number one is very much what I would consider a transitional outfit and it is inspired by Sylvie's look. And I absolutely love every single thing that she shares on her Instagram. She has a real eye for detail. Um, and what you see is that she's wearing a lot of those same pieces over and over again, just in different ways. And uh, I think some of the little style hacks that she uses or at least the styling tools that she uses to put together her outfits are really interesting. So this outfit in itself is pretty basic. You've got, it's all kind of neutrals with black accessories. Um, and I like the way that she styled the shirt. That to me was kind of the key focal element of the outfit. So instead of wearing it sort of all buttoned up or in a French tuck or a half tuck, she's actually worn it unbuttoned, basically all the way up to her bra. So you have this very small sliver of skin on your stomach exposed. It sort of just reveals itself every now and then as you're moving around. And I think that there's something that is really subtly sexy about that, but not in an obvious way. And I was quite drawn to that because I thought it was a very wearable way to kind of show a little bit of midriff during the day. Um, she's worn a really big oversized knit just knotted uh, around her shoulders. Um, I do think one I've got, which is from Anna the Stories, probably needs to have longer sleeves in order for this to have the same impact as hers, but I think you get the idea. Um, I've got a few other options, but I thought um, I want to try and keep those same tones that she had in her outfit. Uh, and my skirt, which I'll get to in a moment, is a slightly different uh, it's a slightly lighter colour. I thought it might be uh, fun to sort of incorporate more of a beige uh, in my knit. Um, so yeah, I've got that over my shoulders. And because there is a lot going on up here around the neckline, you kind of see to compensate for that, she's pulled her hair back, which creates a really nice balance. So I've done the same. Uh, it really allows you to sort of expose the collarbone just a little bit and really show off any necklaces that you have on. Uh, and also, if you wanted to, you could have a little bit of a statement earring, which I think is really nice. Then she's worn a really lovely vintage linen skirt. And I know it's vintage because I've messaged her before and she's so lovely. She gets back to everyone. So um, she told me that that was a vintage find. So instead I've just worn a little denim mini that I have. Uh, I do have other sort of beige skirts, but they've got elasticated waistbands. And I wanted something that had more of a fitted waistband instead to replicate the same effect. Um, you can see from the photo, she's wearing sort of a leather black 
sling bag. So I decided to wear this one here. Um, it's a faux leather braided bag from Charles and Keith. Um, I'll show you a bit closer up so you can see the detail. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of something that you might see from Saint Laurent, uh, but I thought it gave me that same sort of a drop on the shoulder. And when I've got my arm over the bag, it sort of conceals the fact that it is knitted, but it does add in a nice little element of texture. Uh, which I think is nice, especially when you're wearing a lot of more sort of a flat elements like a cotton poplin. And then on my feet, I've gone for my little ballerina pants I was wearing before. Uh, she's wearing a sling back, which I think are lovely. And those Manso Gabrielle black leather sling backs that I mentioned a while back in an anti haul. I might link that up here. Uh, I feel like those would really be the perfect piece to finish off this outfit, but I do like the way that the about Ariane belly flats work. So that is outfit number one. So inspiration for the second outfit comes from Vanessa Rose Blair, who I believe is based in Brighton in the UK. She is another person who has incredible style. So she wore this outfit, I believe it might have been for her graduation. It was for a special occasion and I was really drawn to it because it has so many classic elements to it. However, I wanted to make it a little bit more wearable in terms of walkability for every day because you can see in the photo on her feet, she's wearing a bit of a strappy stiletto and I think this is where accessories can really just make an outfit feel different and I wanted to make it feel, yeah, like an elevated everyday look. So she's got this really lovely striped top on which I can't find any of my striped tops. I have no idea where they've gone aside from my big chunky knits. I did a little bit of a capsule wardrobe edit in my closet and I've packed everything else away in suitcases and I'm just having no luck. So um, I found this one here which is actually a uh, sort of a scoop neck tee from Isabelle Moran Etoile in a linen. I probably would have preferred something that was in a cotton if I was going to, you know, if this was the outfit I was going to be wearing but making do with what I have I thought this was a good option. Then uh, for the skirt I've worn this slip skirt which I've had for a few years now. I wouldn't recommend it for the quality but but I love the silhouette. It's from Envy and the label and it has an elasticated waistband and then it really does just have this beautiful bias cut which uh, skims over the curves and it was that sort of nice fluid silhouette paired with something that is generally considered a bit more tailored that I was particularly drawn to. So she's wearing a nice white colored blazer. Now I've gone for this natural colored raw silk blazer from St. Agni which is double breasted. Um, hers is a single breasted style but I think you still get the same effect. Um, it maybe would be nice if I was wearing a crisp white one to draw from the white and the stripes on my top but I don't, you know, I'm, I'm not wearing any other colour really, so it's not like there's anything that's competing. Uh, she does have on a black shoulder bag with gold buckle details, so I just went with my uh, vintage Chanel, which I've done a review on, and I will link that in the cards. And then, um, as mentioned, I wanted to make it a little bit more wearable for every day. So I've gone for a shoe which, to me, is a striking resemblance to the Rose um, Belly Bear sandals, but with a block heel um, and a statement heel at that. I love the little pop of blue uh, and that circular effect to the heel with the gold. Um, I think it's really pretty, and that's sort of where I've got my one little bit of colour in this outfit. Um, but yeah, I think that makes it a bit more walkable um, and something that I would be quite happy to reach for on a normal day, even if my son's not at daycare. If I did want to be a little bit more literal in my replication of Vanessa's outfit, I would probably pair it with this Kaya sandal from By Far, which I like because it's got the squared off toe, which sort of feels uh, modern, but it's also vintage at the same time. And then I love the little strappy detail at the ankle as well. The way that it crisscrosses kind of comes into a V at, um, at the front of your leg, which is actually quite flattering for something that uh, you might think would cut you off and relatively walkable kitten heel. The third and final outfit I wanted to replicate is one which I saw Felicia Akestrom wear. I think that's how you might pronounce her last name. She is Swedish and she has exceptional taste, incredible style uh, and again she wears a lot of those very classic timeless pieces and I feel as though her style is very ageless and in addition to that it is timeless too. So 10, 20, 30 years from now you're not going to look back on a photo of yourself and sort of think oh what was I wearing? 
I know I've done that with, with some of the outfits I've worn. I was drawn to this look because it has so many themes that I tend to use every day when I'm getting dressed. It's monochromatic, it features one of my favorite shoes, uh, it has a sort of a statement bag which isn't too loud, it's still classic. Um, and it does have those very simple silhouettes. And you've probably seen I've been leaning more into looser or relaxed silhouettes. Things that have a bit of ease to them. And that's definitely something I want, you know, injected into my life uh, a lot more. I've, I've really been leaning into those elements over the past year. Um, so she's basically wearing a cream colored knit, cream trousers, two-tone pumps, black bag. Very, very simple. So um, the knit that I'm wearing is an old cashmere knit, which I got a few years ago from Mott & Bow. This is in the medium, so it does have that really nice, nice sort of slouchy feel to it. The jeans are from Uniqlo U, and these jeans are incredibly long on me. I actually haven't taken them up because I thought it might be nice to have that option to be able to uh, make them longer if I wanted. So instead what I did was I ironed them where I would want the seam or the, the cuff to be and then I very carefully put them on. You could also use garment tape which I'm planning to get so that it's a little bit easier to wear them. Uh, I have to be very careful when I slip my legs into them at the moment. Um, but I like these because the waistband sits just a little bit lower so uh, they don't, you know, if I was to pull them up they'd sit around here but right now they sort of sit just a little bit above my hips um, and it's really comfortable. It just gives you that ease that I mentioned and feels very relaxed. They're quite wide through the leg but straight at the same time uh, and I have got them cropped so that I do expose just a little bit of my ankle which I like because uh, I find especially when I'm wearing something that sits lower on the hips I want to sort of maximize that leg lengthening effect that a cropped trouser gives me considering that I do have a longer torso. On my feet, as mentioned, I've got my Vanelli two-tone pumps, which I think are just one of the best dupes for the Chanel two-tone pumps um, or ballet flats. Uh, I believe that June does a good pair. I, I will link some other alternatives down below, depending on where you live, uh, for options that might be accessible for you. Then the bag, she has the little Bottega bag. Um, I think it's called the Intarsia bag, which is beautiful. Um, and I thought I would go for this little Polin number, which strikes me as being quite similar. You know, you've got that little handle, which I could just slip my arm through like that, but this one feels like it's got that jewelry element with the chain strap too. So that is my take on her outfit. Um, I had so much fun filming this and I love doing these sort of steal her style videos, which is sort of, um, I guess, remixing my wardrobe in ways that I might not have thought to do before. And safe to say I will be saving these photos of these outfits so that I can replicate them exactly uh, in my phone for days when I do not know what to wear. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to know if you had a favorite outfit. Please let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, I will wrap things up here, but thank you so much for spending some of your day with me and I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.